waste pipe like this confuses quite a lot of people uh, mainly because there's two different kinds there's push fit which this is and there's also solvent weld that's a piece of solvent weld so you'd often find these in your property and this particular one is 32 mil and for domestic properties they usually come in 32 mil and, and 40 mil so this is the kind of waste pipe that you get leading from your basin in your bathroom problems arise when you want to connect one of those to one of those because they are different sizes so here we've got two pieces of 32 mil waste pipe the white one is a solvent weld and the grey one is the push fit uh, these do come in a couple of different colours so you've got to make sure that you get the correct pipe so we'll just measure these using the vernier caliper and you can see that that one's about 36 mil and that pipe is considerably smaller that's about 34 mil so the push fit pipe like that is used with push fit joints and push fit joints have a, a seal on the inside the solvent weld joints don't have any seal on the inside so whenever you cut a piece of pie like this you need to get it square so we're going to use a mitre box so what we do with the mitre box is put the pipe in where you want it cut in and then cut through one of the straight lines on the mitre box and it doesn't really matter which kind of saw you use because any kind of saw normally cut pipe like this now got two cut ends but before we can use those we need to clean them up so we're just going to remove the burrs now using a file So we've removed the burrs now from the two pieces so now we can push the pipe straight into the actual fitting but before we do that we're just going to lubricate the pipe a little bit using some washing up liquid and this actually makes the pipe go in a hell of a lot easier so I'll just put that on there and then we can just push that in there and now that has made a good joint so now we just need to do the same on the other side so we can now just put the pipe into the fitting and just push it and turn it at the same time and now we've got a push fit joint that's made so that is how you make a joint on push fit waste pipe so to connect a push fit to a solvent weld you need a compression fitting and this is a unifit compression so if we remove that nut you'll see that there's a washer and then a tapered washer and then the fitting itself and that washer will fit on either the 32mm push fit or the 32mm solvent weld so to make a joint using one of these compression fittings if you slide the nut on and then the plastic washer and then put the taper washer on and make sure that the taper washer is pointing the correct way which is that way so now you can push your fit in onto the end and you've got to make sure that it's located all the way in the fitting and then you can push your nut up and you can tighten the nut ensuring that you don't get it cross threaded
and then if you just tighten that up with your fingers it will go very tight and now that is actually joined to that fitting. So now on the piece of solvent weld again we'll just undo the nut take the washer out and the taper washer we'll put the nut on and then the plastic washer and then the taper washer and again you have to make sure that you get the taper washer the correct way around so the taper is facing forwards and then we'll just push that into there and then we'll just push the nut down and that will push the washer in and then if we just tighten that up it will grip the pipe so now we've got two different pipes that are connected together we've got the push fit and the solvent weld so when you come across waste pipe and you're struggling with the size because they're both a very similar size that's how you connect the two together by using a compression fitting